Sarah Knademan and this is my YouTube channel for yoga. I'm really excited to be able to flow with you. It's my hope that every month I'm bringing you different themes and different flows so that you can incorporate yoga into your life. Whether you are new and you're just beginning or you consider yourself to be an advanced practitioner and you've been doing so for a long time. Um, so each month I'm hoping to be able to bring everyone a different theme or a different intention to our flows. This month I really just want to commit specifically to alignment. I love alignment cues, so just making sure that our body is safe um, and that we have the proper cues to feel confident in the way that we're moving through our asana. The other thing is I'm going to start this month with just a couple short videos so that whether you're starting your New Year's resolution or you're just a busy human being with a significant other or a job or kids or other hobbies um, that you're able to feel like this year in 2023 that you can again start incorporating yoga in a truly meaningful way and an intentional way. So this is just going to be a quick 30 minute flow that hopefully you'll feel like you'll be able to do whether it's bright and early in the morning to get a little bit of energy or certainly closer towards actually when I'm doing it right now when my kiddos are in bed um, to sort of wind down for the night and get grounded for sleep. All right. So as always, I like to start in a seated position. I'm just going to start on my knees, but if you'd like to start cross-legged or maybe putting your back up against the wall, um, I often like to say that it can be helpful to be propped up in a seated position so that your knees are below your hips, just to release any tension that's there. So we'll start in any seated position that's comfortable for you and I encourage you to close down your eyes and then take one man, uh, hand to your belly and one hand to your heart. So I like to take my right hand to my belly, my left hand to my heart. It grounds myself down, that extra touch can just help to soothe the nervous system. And let's sync up our breath here. So start by exhaling all of the air out of your body. And then when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in. Feel your belly expand, your rib cage, your heart lifts up towards the ceiling or the sky. Hold your breath at the top and then open mouth, exhale. Let's do two more. Big deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And one more, big deep breath in. And exhale. Good, starting some gentle movement here, keeping your eyes closed. Inhale, lift both arms up above your head. Place your palms together and then exhale, bring your thumbs to heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, take up space, find that length and then exhale, draw your thumbs into heart center. Press your thumbs into your chest, slight tuck of the chin, big deep breath in, deep breath out. Then maybe find a mantra or an intention or an I am statement to seal into your practice. Today I'm focusing on I am committed to my yoga practice. And that can look like an hour of flow or it can look like 30 seconds of quiet centering breath. But I am committed to my yoga practice. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. You can slide.
slowly open up your eyes, drop your hands, and let's meet in tabletop. So we're gonna come into our hands and knees, actively spread your fingers wide, press into the pads of your fingers. I like to make sure that my hips are in line with my knees, shoulders over elbows over wrists. Engage your elbows slightly, and then just start by taking some, what I like to call organic movement. So swaying side to side, rolling up your shoulders, nodding your head yes and no. It might look like taking really big circles with your hips, but whatever your body is calling for. And then we'll come back to the center. Zip up your core, just slightly bend into the elbows and we'll come into our cat cow. So inhale, belly down. Gaze forward, actively pull the shoulders back, spread the sitting bones wide, and then exhale, tuck chin and pelvis. Scoop the belly up and in, actively press your back up towards the ceiling. Two more times, inhale. And exhale. Just finding that wave in the spine. One more time, inhale, belly down. And exhale. Good, inhale. Neutral spine. Take your knees almost as wide as your mat, big toes to touch. Reach your arms out long child's pose here. So coming all the way down. Your forehead can come all the way down to the mat. If that's not accessible, you can take it onto your hands or even tuck a block or a pillow. But let's take four deep breaths here in this shape. And keeping your hips heavy, we'll just start to take some side stretches. So start to come up onto your fingertips by tenting your hands. Take an inhale and then exhale. Start to walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. They might come all the way off. And if it's accessible, take the right hand on top of the left. Actively imagine or physically plug that right hip down. And then wherever you are, really attempt to tuck your chin and release any tension in your neck. Just a few breaths here. Good, on your next inhale, come all the way back towards center. And then exhale, move it over to the right. And just like I said before, your hands might come all the way off of the mat, left hand on top of right. On your next inhale, let's come back towards center. Just pause here for a moment. And then inhale, start to come back up into tabletop and let's meet there. So once back on your hands and knees, just shake anything out that might have come up in your hips. Tuck your toes back behind you, actively Press into your hands once again. And then take a big breath in. Hover both knees. Good, let's fire up the core. Big breath in. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So our legs are super strong. Pedal out your feet, bend one knee at a time. Actively press your hips high and melt your chest closer to the tops of your legs. Take a gentle bend in the elbows, actively encouraging the heels down, big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, look towards the top of the mat 
And then exhale, gently walk your feet in between your hands to a forward fold. So once you're here, let's take feet at hips distance width apart, and then come all the way down. Tuck your chin, let the crown of the head come down. Gently bend into the knees, especially if it's early morning or close to the time you're going to go to bed. Really actively give your joints some love and bend into them so that we're not straining any ligaments. Let's take ragdoll pose here. Take opposite thumb to opposite elbow. Maybe sway side to side. And trying to pull the weight forward into the toes. Good. Come back towards center. Release your hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands slide up the shins or knees. Slight bend into the knees, shoulders away from ears, nice flat back, scoop the belly up and in, big breath. And then exhale, forward fold. Good, inhale, mountain pose. Come all the way up to standing. Big deep breath in. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Come back to that mantra. I am committed to my yoga practice. You're still here. You are still stretching. You're prioritizing your peace, okay? Take a big breath in, arms up. And then exhale, open twist to the right. So left fingertips forward, right fingertips back. And what we want to check in on here is that we're engaging the knees, tailbone tucks down, and then our belly button is forward. Our hips are forward and our twist is opening. It can be a lot in the shoulders, gaze to the right. And then inhale, both arms back up. Exhale, right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. Open, stretch, same thing here. Check in that our hips are towards the front of the mat, belly button towards the front of the mat. Just the arms and the upper body are opening. Good, big breath in, big breath out. Inhale back through center. On the exhale, cactus the arms, baby back bend. Actively squeeze the shoulder blades together. Heart up towards the ceiling, gaze up. Good, inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips, nice flat back. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step back to a high push-up plank position. We won't be here for long, engage the elbows. Press the heels back, zip up the core, inhale. And then exhale, drop the knees if needed, come all the way down onto your belly. Really try to plug the elbows in towards one another, pull the shoulder blades back, Press into where your shoelaces would be in your hips, and then inhale, baby cobra. So just peeling your heart and chest up. A good cue here for how far you should go on baby cobra is, would you stay in the same place if you lifted your hands up? So that's kind of a good test here. Good, exhale, kiss the ground with your forehead. Good, inhale. Just to keep it nice and soft right now, come back up into tabletop. Big breath in, tuck the toes, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Really nice job. We're gonna do that one breath, one movement here. So when ready, inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet walk in between the hands, forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Come all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. I am committed to my yoga practice. Inhale, lift arms up. Exhale, open right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, open left. Inhale, back through center. 
Exhale, baby back bend. Gaze up at the ceiling. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold again, hinging at the hips, weight forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold, press both hands into the mat, step back, high push up plank position. Even if this is getting you towards bedtime, it's good to release this energy. Good, big breath in. Exhale, use your knees if needed. Come all the way down to your belly. Keep the elbows actively in, untuck the toes. Baby cobra here, inhale. Good, exhale. We're gonna stay here for one more. Take your hands wide off your mat. Tent up your hands onto your fingertips and then inhale. Lift the heart and chest up. Good, one more breath here. Good, exhale, come all the way back down again. Keeping it fairly easy, inhale, tabletop. And then tuck the toes, big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Good, taking your left foot towards the center of the mat. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Try to flex your foot, spin your pinky toe down, actively press the heel back. Big breath in. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose and step your right foot in between your hands. That might look like stepping to the middle of the mat and physically scooching your foot up. Once we're here in our lunge, drop the left knee, untuck the left toes. Sink your hips forward as much as we can and we still feel stable. And then when ready, press the left hand down. Inhale, spin right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Good, a couple breaths here. Nice long line of energy from the crown of the head all the way down to your left big toe. One more inhale. Exhale, right hand comes down. Good. Center yourself here. Really scissor in between your inner thighs. And then when ready, inhale, both arms up. Good. Imagine like you're holding a beach ball. Really actively feel that energy all the way through the fingertips. Keep encouraging the hips forward. Big breath in. And then exhale, both hands come on down. Lift the left leg up. Step the right leg back. Big breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. This time, take the right foot towards center. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Same thing here. Flex the foot. Spin the pinky toe down. Press the heel back. Big breath in. And then exhale. Step your left foot in between your hands. Once you feel steady here, drop the right knee down, untuck the right toes, encourage the hips forward, press into the right hand, inhale, left fingertips up. And again, just imagine that long line of energy, actively bend into both elbows. Good, full breath in. And then exhale, take your left hand back down. Scissor the inner thighs together, sink the hips forward, and then inhale, both arms up. Good. Big breath in, find that beach ball again, big breath out. Good, fill all the way up, and then exhale, hands come on down. Lift the right leg, step the left leg back, big breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Really nice. We're going to come in to a short flow here before coming back down to the ground. When you're ready, inhale, right leg high, exhale, step the right foot forward. This time we're going to stay lifted. 
Plant the left hand down, inhale, spin right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Big breath in. Exhale, right hand down. Stay here. Zip the inner thighs together. Inhale, crescent lunge. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Lift the left heel as much as you can. All of our toes are pointed forward. Hips forward. Full breath in. Full breath out. Big breath in. And then exhale, hands come back down to the mat and start to crawl your hands open to the left side of your mat. Take your feet so that they are parallel and then actually scoot your heels out wide, toes in. Take a big deep breath and then exhale, wide leg forward, fold. Your hands can stay on the ground. They can grab the outside edges of your ankles. Pull the weight forward into your toes. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Inhale, halfway lift here. And let's take some skandhasana movement. So start to crawl your hands over to the left side. Bend into the left knee. Your right toes can come up. Good. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, over to the right. And again, whatever is accessible to you, this might mean moving side to side with just a micro bend in the knee. One more time each side. Inhale through center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Great job, guys. Inhale back through center. Lift up, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, crawl towards the lunge in the front of the mat. And let's flow here. Step the right leg back. Big breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Big deep breath in. Big breath out. Inhale. Lift the left leg high. Exhale. Step it forward. Low lunge. We're staying lifted here. Actively press into the right hand. Inhale. Spin left fingertips up for your twist. Full breath in. Long lines. Full breath out. Big breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down. Scissor the inner thighs together. Find your steady base. And then inhale, lift up to your crescent lunge. So both hands reach up. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Lifting that right heel. Hips are forward. Take a deep inhale, and then exhale, bring both hands down. This time, spin your hands over to the right. Parallel your stance. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. And you can always take an active bend in your knees. And then we'll start to take some skandhasana. So again, Bending into one knee, and then inhale back through center, bending over to the other. And if you'd like a little challenge, you can try coming up and doing it with no hands. So coming through center, gliding side to side. This would be especially good for a morning practice if you really want to feel the heat. Good. Come back towards center. Inhale. Exhale. Wide-legged forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Crawl to a low lunge at the front of the mat. Step the left leg back. Big breath in. Exhale. Slow lower down. Inhale, baby. Cobra or upward facing dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck those toes, hips high. Full breath in, full breath out. Deep breath in. Exhale, come on back down to child's pose. So knees wide, big toes to touch. Good, arms out long. Three deep breaths here. Good. Inhale. Start to come all the way up. And typically I like to do some seated poses, but for today, let's come all the way down onto our back. So kick your legs out in front, and then come all the way down onto your back. Squeeze your knees in towards your chest, and really actively give them a good squeeze when we're constricting some of the joints. What we're able to do when we release them is let fresh blood and oxygen come in and it can be a really nice healing, open feeling. So take a big breath in. Good. Exhale, drop the left leg. Keep squeezing the right knee in. Full breath in. And then exhale, supine twist. Take the right knee over to the left. And we wanna to try to make sure that our shoulders are still actively connected down to the ground, that grounding feeling. And then open your arms to a T, palms up or down, or to a cactus if it feels better to keep the arms bent here. And if it feels nice at this time in the practice as we're starting to wind down, maybe close down your eyes or take a soft gaze. Good, inhale, bring both knees back in towards center. And then exhale, drop the right leg down, actively squeeze the left knee in. Take a full breath in and then exhale, same thing here. Supine twist, left knee over to the right, arms out to a T, palms up or down. You might like to keep the bend in the elbows, but we're just letting gravity do the work here. Again, if you start to feel the left shoulder pop up, gently Come out of the twist and just find that balance. Good. Inhale. Come back towards center. Squeeze both knees in. And then exhale to bring the soles of your feet together. Knees wide for Supta Baddha Konasana. Just as we started, let's take one hand on our belly, one hand on our hearts, and just take some big breaths in, and big breaths out. I'm just taking a few moments to settle into this space. One more breath here. Good. And then take your hands, recollect your legs. Again, windshield wiper your knees from side to side. I can always feel good. 
And then finally, squeeze your knees in towards your chest and bring your forehead to meet your knees. And seed pose, give yourself one big exhale. Good, and come all the way into your final resting pose with Shavasana. Try to take up as much of your mat as possible. Keep your palms up towards center. Slight tuck of your shoulders underneath your heart. I encourage you to close down your eyes. Taking a big deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Good, settling down into this space, counting a few breaths here, and a lot of the important yoga work can happen in this stillness, in this quiet. I encourage you to stay here for a few more breaths if you can, and if you need to wrap up, you can always slowly roll over onto one side or the other and just take a moment to honor your own yoga practice the fact that you showed up for yourself today and for your commitment and then using as little weight as possible and it's always nice to keep your eyes closed if you can coming into a seated position on your mat Nice tall posture, roll your shoulders up by your earlobes and then down your spine. And then when you're ready, inhale both arms up. Seal your palms together and then bring your thumbs to heart center. Big deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Great job, you guys. Thanks for joining me in your practice today. And as always, bloom where you are planted, and I will see you next time. Bye.